Hello! So, if you've been following our social media, you'll know that I just got back from a Christmas market tour in Europe. I went to Venice, Salzburg, Munich, and Lucerne. So, overall, the trip was absolutely amazing and everything I wanted it to be. Um, but I thought I would do a little merch haul and show you guys some things that I bought. <laughs> So I have all of my stuff laying out here. <laughs> I think I'll just go in the category of items. I think I'll start with the Christmas mugs. So one of the things with the Christmas markets in Europe is you go to the market and you can get mold wine, also known as glue vine, uh, which is basically just warm wine. It was great, I loved it. Um, but you can get it in a mug and you pay three to four euros for the actual mug and then whatever the glue vine cost. And then after you get done with it, you can return the mug and get your three or four euros back. Kind of like a rent a mug system. Or you can keep the mug. Well, I kept most of mine. <laughs> um, but I wanted a set of four and then there were some that I just really liked and I wanted to keep. So I got more than four. <laughs> um, so first up is my mug from Innsbruck. And um, it is a blue color. It has Innsbruck and the city around it. I thought it was super cute. I loved the color. And it also has Merry Christmas on the bottom in a bunch of different languages. It has German and English and other languages that I don't know. <laughs> um, but really like this mug. Then I have the mug from Salzburg. Also a really pretty blue color. I really got this one because it was the same size as the other one and I wanted to keep the set of four all similar. Um, but it says Advent in Salzburg and then it has a snowy scene all around it. So, very, very cute. Um, the next city we went to was Munich. I kind of got a lot there. So, I got a mug in each Christmas market. And in Munich, I think we went to four Christmas markets. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, this one is... It says... Pro Weihnachten on their residence to Munich, which Merry Christmas from the Residence Palace of Music Munich, maybe? Um, because I got this in the Residence Plaza. Um it has the palace right there and a red inside, which I really, really like. This was probably my favorite mug of all of the Christmas markets that I got. Um, it says Munich Chris Kennel Market 2022. And we actually went the next day and they didn't have any more 2022 ones. We couldn't find them. So um, I'm really excited about it. And it's the main Marianne Plotz Christmas market. And it has the street scene all around it. And, um, yeah, I'm probably going to keep this one out the entire Christmas season because I really like it. Um, and then these two mugs I got also in Munich. Not to go with the set of four, but I thought they were really cute and I couldn't say no. So I got this little guy. It's a little snowman. And then it says Merry Christmas on the side. And then it has Santa Claus on this side. And it's like shaped like a snowman which makes me really happy um and then the stereotypical christmas market boot mug that says merry christmas and then the last mug that i got was in lucerne switzerland and it's from rudolph's christmas market um it says christmas in lucerne rudolph's christmas and it has little deer around it i think you can see it Rudolph. Super 
cute. So now I have my little set of four. So whenever people come over and have cider or tea or hot chocolate with me, then we can all have little matching Christmas market cups. It's gonna be amazing. Um, <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Okay, so let me move these out of the way. I probably shouldn't have gotten as many mugs as I did, but whatever. Went in Rome, but I didn't go to Rome. Okay, um, next up we'll do food. Um, I got some, um, you know, you can't go to Italy without getting olive oil. So I got some olive oil. Super excited about that. Also got some black truffle oil. I love truffle oil and I'm going to make some french fries and it's going to be chef's kiss. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I am gluten free not by choice. <laughs> it is an allergy. I can't have gluten in the States. So, um, I can't have gluten in the States, but I can have it. It does not bother me in Europe. So, I went to the grocery store in Italy and got some real pasta. So, really excited about that. Um, gonna make some pasta. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I also got some truffle pasta to try. I don't actually know much about it, but it does have cooking instructions on the side. Um, the box got a little smashed in my suitcase. <laughs> um, and then while, so on our way from Venice to Salzburg, we stopped in a little bitty town that I cannot pronounce the name of, um, right on the border of Austria and Italy. And I got this little wooden spoon that has the mountain range on it. And it came with a little package of spaghetti aglio e pepperoni, pepperoncino. Um, some little spices to put in spaghetti. So that's gonna be really tasty. And then the last little food item that I got, you can't go to Salzburg without getting some salt, cause Salzburg, literally means salt. Um, so it's not a full pack because I'm giving some as Christmas gifts, little stocking stuffers, but I have one that is sweet, one that is good for fish, and one that is good for vegetables. So ooh. I am super excited to try these out. Did I say last food items? I lied. There's more right under me. <laughs> While we were in Lucerne, there was this little booth in the Christmas market that had a whole bunch of spices and um, they were all in German, so I couldn't read them. But they had some little taste tester things outside um, the shop and I was able to get a couple of dips that you just mix with mayonnaise and yogurt. Um, pasta picante, Pinocchio dip, which I don't know, and a Mexican dip. Um, but yeah, you just mix it with, I'm gonna have to translate these instructions. <laughs> um, regardless, it tasted really good and I'm excited to use these for like Christmas parties that I go to over the next week. Um, and then I also got some salt, regular table salt imported from Switzerland. When we were in that little town right on the border of Italy that I, I can't remember the name of. It started with a V. Um, I found some apple blossom honey that I'm really curious to try. Haven't opened it yet, um, but I love honey and I usually get one every place I go. So that's gonna be really tasty. Um, and then I got some of this candy too. It's like a peppermint. Um, have you seen those videos on like TikTok or Instagram where they pull out the taffy and then they do the ch -ch 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 and it pops off? And that's these, these kinds of candy. I don't know what they're called. They're pretty tasty though. While we were in Italy, we went on a wine tour. Couldn't say no to some Italian wine. It's a Moscato. Absolutely amazing. Um, really excited to dig into that. It's so tasty. And of course, you can't go to Switzerland 
and not get Swiss chocolate. Um, we went to Max Chocolatier, which is supposed to be one of the really good chocolate places over in Switzerland. Um, I have eaten a little bit of this. But it's little bitty chocolates, and they have the percentages on there, like dark chocolate or... They have a classic milk chocolate. I'm gonna try that one next. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sorry, you know, in chocolate heaven for a minute. Okay, we'll finish that later. I'm gonna set this one aside in case I get home while I'm finishing this video. <laughs> um, I'm a chocoholic, can't help myself. Let's move on to ornaments. Now, the ornaments at most of the Christmas markets, I will say they were very similar. Especially as we went along, we were like, okay, we're seeing the same things over and over again. There were ornaments like this, which is gorgeous. That was literally at every single Christmas market. Um, but it's very, very cool. Um, I also got, I believe this one was in Munich. This star, the frosty star, and a little snowy scene, and then a snowy Christmas tree on the back. Makes me happy. Um, Purple is my favorite color, so I couldn't say no to this gorgeous angel with purple tipped wings. Um, and she's holding a little bitty star. Super cute. I did get a set of three little Christmas icicles that are really catch the light and they have a little zigzaggy in the middle of them. I just remember growing up, we had icicles from Munich on our Christmas tree because my parents lived there for a year before I was born. And so I thought I'd get my own little icicles for my Christmas tree. I did get, I believe this was in Munich. They had a separate little stall, like house type thing that you went into. Um, and I found this gorgeous, snowflake that really catches the light um very delicate and a piano because i play the piano so i thought it would be appropriate to put on my tree i don't know why my hand was just doing it but <laughs> one of the stores that we went into was all hand carved so i got an ornament nativity scene that's hand carved and not all of this is carved but it's a little santa sack and it has santa claus going up the little ladder and toys and i just fell in love and i couldn't say no that was the problem this whole time i just couldn't say no the last Christmas market, the very last day. No, actually, no, this was not a Christmas market. Um, we were shopping, it was right after I went to the chocolate store. I saw this in the window and it's like porcelain. Um, and I thought it was beautiful and must be added to my collection. On our way to Lucerne, we stopped at a little town called Vaduz. So I got a train that says Vaduz. It's in Liechtenstein, which is its own country, I believe. I got a beautiful bell ornament that has a painted scene on it from Salzburg. 
another really delicate twisty. I think I just like the twisties. I think that just makes me happy. Um, but a Christmas tree that has like a smaller frosted twisty inside of it. And then um, while we were in Venice, we went to a glass blowing store um, and got to watch a demonstration. It was super cool and really technical and amazing. And kudos to all of the people who do glass blowing. It is phenomenal. Um, but in the store, I got this little guy, little Santa Claus holding a Christmas tree. Um, and it is glass blown. While we were in Switzerland, I saw this little bitty house. It's not an ornament. It's just super cute. I think I'm going to set it like it's got snowy stuff on it. So I think I'm just going to set it on like the bookcase or something. While I was in Salzburg, um, I was so fortunate to be able to go to Sound of Music tour where they take you on a bus ride to all the filming locations from the Sound of Music. And um, it was like heaven for my musical theater soul. And we had sing along up the mountain and it was amazing and beautiful and wonderful. Um, but I got, the, at the very top of the mountain, they had a little store of um, Sound of Music items. So I got, so I got, this ornament of some little edelweisses you just hang on there and this is not an ornament but i'm gonna skip ahead i got a lonely goat herd i own a hill and lonely goat herd lay or lay or lay it's so cute um i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i i had to get the lonely goat herd it just, hmm, it makes me happy. That's why you buy things on vacation, because they make you happy, right? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, also on the Sound of Music tour, I got this beautiful little music box. It says Edelweiss in its place. Okay, I'm done. Um, that's one of my favorite songs in the musical. And it, I, it just brings back so many memories. That was one of the first speaking roles that I had in theater. And um, I was Rigita in The Sound of Music when I was nine. And so that show just is really special to my heart. Um, next. Um... In Munich, we went right outside the town to the, um, to Dachau, which was the first concentration camp during World War II. Um, it was a very sobering experience. And it was super strange because it was snowing and it just gave a interesting feel to the whole situation. Um, but they did have a bookstore, um, after we got out and I got two books based on true stories. One is the library of Auschwitz and the other one is the Lilac Girls of Ravenbrook. So I'm excited to pop these open and, and read them. And, and I, I'm the back reading the back of the, it, it just looks like it's a fascinating story. So that's going to be really good. Switching gears a little bit. Now this is just gonna be the random things that I found in different places. <laughs> um, don't actually remember which city I got this in. I think it was Salzburg, but a cute little snowman. He's just adorable. And I have started collecting snowman, so I think that's my thing. Um, They make me happy. I got an Edelweiss pot holder from Switzerland. Very nice. Um, mom, 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 mom. Uh, while we were in Salzburg, um, 
they had a very they they basically had jewelry at every single Christmas market but I saw these and they just look like me and also they are purple which is my favorite color so I got how can I best show you guys so very nice purple little dangly rhinestones um, and I got my sister some blue ones but I already wrapped them so <laughs> I can't show you guys um uh, next up um in Munich I got this cute little light up um little figurine it says Munich, München, which is the German way to say Munich, I believe. Um, just a little snowy scene of the Glockenspiel, I think is what it's called. And just the square. Very cute. And it lights up. I think I've said very cute about every single item. So I apologize, but all of them just made me very happy. Um, next up, um, we went to this booth in Innsbruck and, um, ooh, we went to this book, this booth in Innsbruck and I knew that I had to have this item <laughs> with as much as I cook. Um, and the girls that were at the booth were so sweet and they let me video a, little tutorial because I also got my mom one <laughs> and um it's this beautiful little bowl and there there's ridges on the inside of them so you can get like um uh, you can get garlic and rub it around in there and it'll grate it for you um they're not really sharp but it's like ridges and I got uh, and uh, apparently you can do vegetables and ginger and it just grates it for you. And since I bought three of them, because I got one for me and one for my sister, um, I also got this little tube thing to peel garlic. Um, and I got it for free. So that was nice. <laughs> Let's see. This was in Salzburg. Um... While in Salzburg, it was quite chilly. This is very cold. Um, so I bought this in the moment, not planned to get it. And it's got like really fuzzy um, fabric on the inside. And it's a little cute little earmuff headband. And it's purple. I don't know if you can see that in this light is dark purple, like eggplant colored. Also got one of those for my mom and my sister. Except there's this teal, not purple. Um, next, when in Switzerland, um, I got myself a pocket knife that says Lexi. <laughs> I don't really know why I think this was peer pressure to be honest because all of the bus was getting him. Um, but now I have a pocket knife in case I need it. Um, mainly I got it for like the corkscrew. <laughs> um, you know, never hurts to have a pocket corkscrew in case you need one. <laughs> um, and then I believe this one also has a fingernail file and I am always in need of a fingernail file. I don't actually know how it works. Yeah, so little red. I also got one for my boyfriend and my brother-in-law. So names on them, it's gonna be great. Um, so another item that I got while in Munich was a nutcracker so he's holding a little stick and he's just super cute 
I looked for a long time because I didn't want to get a Nutcracker that looked angry. Um, and a lot of them just looked angry to me. But he just has nice eyes. He's just saying, hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Nutcracker. Yay! Now, as this video has gone almost 30 minutes, <laughs> I will end the video with my top three favorite items that I purchased on this trip. First of all, let's do this one. I saw these in Munich and um, I've been wanting to get one of these for my village that I have because I have a little village. I'm looking at it right now because it's like over there. Um, I'll show you a video here. And I decided to get a church a Munich church to go along with my village. And you can put a little candle down in the bottom um, or a light down in the bottom. And there's little holes on the windows up here. There's a little hole in the door. So yeah, I'll show you the detail of it. And it's porcelain. So really excited about that. Along with it, I got a horse-drawn carriage addition to my village. <laughs> um, and it had little figurines waving at you inside. Um, this is also porcelain. So, they look great. This is the finished product of my village. I'm really proud of it. Been collecting it over many years. Um, next up is this beauty. So, I don't know how well you can see it. It is a glass blown Christmas tree with ornaments from the glass blowing factory that I mentioned earlier. It is so delicate. I was super worried <laughs> that it wouldn't make it home in one piece, but it did and um, this was pricey. This was 90 euros for this little bitty thing. But it's handmade. And, like, you can't get this anywhere else. Well, I'm sure you can. But I didn't see anything else like it on any of the tour. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And... Last but not least, the creme de la creme of the Christmas markets. Um, this was the only item that I absolutely 100% knew that I was going to get. Um, I was searching for it the entire trip. And I finally found the perfect hand carved nativity this was the one thing that i knew that i wanted to find over there growing up we had one from munich that my parents had gotten so i wanted to find something that reflected my trip um meant a lot to me was very authentic to europe you can't get it anywhere else so the manger i found in salzburg and it was hand carved in Austria. And then the figurines I got in Munich and they were carved in the mountains of Italy, right on the border, bo right on the border of Austria and Italy. There's a little town there that only does wood carving or that there's a little town there that primarily does wood carving. Um, all of the figurines are hand carved specifically in Europe. Yeah, so I have the three wise men, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, two little sheepies, a cow. That is not a, that's not a cow. That is a donkey and a cow and an angel. So 
there you go. Oh, I'm just so excited about this. Like, for real. I'm just so excited. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. I couldn't have asked for anything more. So anyway, <laughs> I'm just distracted, like, staring at all of the beauty. I feel like there's so many, like, little intricate details that you don't see at first. Um... And the more you look at it, the more you find. It's just so delicate. Anyway, I will stop yabbering right now. Anyway, that's pretty much it aside from the gifts that I actually got other people. Um, I'm very pleased about everything that I got. I'm super excited about it. Spent way too much money, but that is A-OK -okay with me because how many times are you gonna go to the Christmas markets of Europe? Not very many in your lifetime when you live in the United States. Um, anyway, that's all that I have for this video. Hope you liked it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will show more videos of my trip to Europe in the coming weeks. So until then, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you next time.